All right, well, this was the place I went to school in this little village. It's actually a beautiful village. And this up here was this little store up there. And some guys are working on it right now. They're, they're just it's becoming a private property. Down the road here, the little lane, there's a church at the end. And these, this is a beautiful village. You can see. Here, look, there's some workers here, look. That's, that's, that's Skyping again. <laughs> and there, I used to live up there, I'll show you. That. There, but here's, this is the other pub in the village. It's called The Bell. See that sign there? It's a beautiful village, Lower Hayford. It was a horrible place to go to school, I will tell you. Anyway, I'll move on. That was my classroom in there. Now these guys, you see. Oh, there's the dreaded mixer. You'd be dogging in the sand. And that was, that was my little sister's uh, classroom. This was my classroom. This used to be the playground. I guess some rich people bought it now. And this was the field we were playing back here. And that's the, this is the little lane down to the church. Okay. Walking down toward the church. Now they used to have this harvest festival. I, do you know what? I can't even remember if they ever let me in here because this was, I was Catholic like, you know. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna go and have a peeky. And you see, when I was young, when I lived here in this little village, you used to be able to cut through this place up there. That's now private property, and you used to be able to go to my house on the other side. And now the guy tells me they'd moved the footpath to here. See, it's a public footpath. You can walk all over this country in a public footpath. So I'm gonna see that it's that sort of gate there like that, you know? So the cows can't come the other way. See, and you can't really tell here, but these are the houses. You, have, you have money to, to live here. These houses are worth a lot of money. They've driven out all the working class, which would have been people that work for the people that work for the American Air Base or farm labourers. So at the other end of this little path, we come out by the canal, and I used to hang out. And uh, I'm just walking now. There's the, the boats, these barges. This comes to the Oxford Canal. These barges used to carry coal, I guess, and stuff. And I used to play and get frogs down here. There's a station over there. It's a tree. Used to play, and this big tree, if it's still here, there's, there's another place. See, it's at the back of somebody's house. That horse, notice it's all the original the local stone you can't build here with any crap and make it, make it look like. Uh, Overstock.com village. Um, they used to gather. We used to fish there. They didn't have all these boats then. We used to fish in that canal for perch. And here I used to, I used to get frogs, catch frogs. I'm, I'm just seeing if the tree where we had our tree house as kids used to be. Oh, it's gone. It used to be right there. Big old oak tree and it was hollow inside. And, well, I come out the other side now. This is the little main road, or one of the main, the main road that runs through the village. This building on the right that I'm coming up to where the fence is, that was our, our yard. This was a pub. That my dad was a publican, what they call him. And, uh, and uh, it was sold. And um, well, it looks like it's for sale again. Well, if I had the money, I'd love to buy it. That was the lounge and the tap room in there, that greenish. And uh, this in the white area there, those little two white windows. That was, well, that one up there on the left, the top one was my mum and dad's bedroom. And that was my bedroom on the right. And there were stables and stuff back here. I'll probably give them a call, see what they want for it. This right here, been turned into three cottages it looks like. This right here was the, the stables and I used to go in sometimes with the pigs because my dad got it felt like he could make some money with pigs. Anyway, that's what that is. And this was a, a in, into the backyard and there's a huge yard back there. It was a lovely place in many ways but we didn't own it, you know. And over here and up that see that shed up there, I used to milk cows up there or sometimes help the farmer milk the cows and go across these fields, play. Just 
just in case I haven't been paying enough attention to it, you see that's a thatched roof up there, got wire over it. And this is the old bakery, and it was a Saturday job I used to have, the first, I think the first job I had, uh, this, this place here. It's a, it used to be the baker, and I'd come round here about 4.30 in the morning on a Saturday, and I'd go out with him on a, you know, there it says, look, it says here, the old bake house. Let me see, see, there it is. Mr. Warman, the old bakehouse, that was his name, Mr. Warman. Anyway, I'm going to just walk down this, there's this place here, this street, goes down to the canal when I used to play on the drawbridge. Two older ladies lived in here, look at these places, and no, you don't have to have a lot of money to buy these places. Two old ladies lived here and they used to take me to concerts in Oxford, took a liking to me. And I just met a guy who was apparently an actor and the chair of the music. Uh, in Oxford University or something. He had a chat with me. Uh, anyway, that's some sort of chapel it was. Here we come, down to the drawbridge. And what we used to do with this drawbridge was pull it up when people were on the other side. <laughs> of course, it's not that big and high, so it's not like you can't jump up and grab a hold of it and make sure you let go when you come down. And this is it here, you see, and the canal runs, there's the boats again, just a different part, hello doggy, that's that way, and that way, that goes to Upper Hayford, and there's the old mill here, that's, that's it, and there's a gentleman with his dog, hi, do you live here? No. Oh, okay, the sun, no. there's the drawbridge, okay. Okay, this is where we used to come to swim and catch crayfish, or crawdads as we call them back home. And um, cows with calves. Here's, we used to catch crayfish in here. This is the River Churwell. Some swans. Train over there. So we used to... This goes into the old mill, see the river? Goes in there, into the old mill. I'm going to walk in here. I don't think it's private property, is it? Hold on. Used to fish. There's the. That's all. All the back of the mill. Private homes. These now for rich people. This, this bridge too. It's still here. Used to sit on this bridge and used to go under, underneath and try catch fish and stuff and crayfish. And over there we used to swim over over there in that bend. Over at that bend. And back along here. I'm not going to walk it now. But there, about another half mile. There was a deeper part of the river. You could park the river, see the cows have been where well, you can't see. Alrighty. I'm just doing this for posterity. It was a beautiful place really. Well, this is the where we used to play football. It's a this building, I can't remember if this building existed, but we used to play on these swings. Swings, and this is the football field. And the Americans built this. American Air Base, you know, this is up the way and some of the people, the best jobs were really were at the American Air Base and they built this for us. I don't know whether you can see this but I used to know the man that lived in here because he took care of the horses for this estate and I went out with my, one of my first girlfriends was a girl that lived down there and she was a groom, she lived in the stables or above them and um, it's a, this is the estate of the Flemings, the relatives of Ian Fleming. They breed polo horses, or they used to, and they used to have a polo. Probably every, probably own every blade of grass around here. You know, that's who they are. And that would, be, that was, the, there was a name for it. He was like the ground, groundskeeper, I guess, like Mellors in Lady Chatter's lover. All righty, now look at that. Now look at that place. Just drove down this road. I didn't live there. <laughs> I'm going to take a gated road to Banbury now. This is Overnorton, just outside Banbury. Yeah.